Glad I have a water resistant phone. Just a pair of ducks. Mallards, as it were. It's okay. I'm not gonna get in your way of lunch, dinner, whatever. So, this is a traffic circle, not very far from where I live. And... This is a bicycle intersection. Well, pedestrian as well, but... It's the intersection of multiple bike routes. Heck, you can even see people riding it right now, even though this is April. Um, 8th of April? Yeah, this would be the 8th of April. By the way, good kitten internet. Uh, it's a bit windy outside, hence the thing. I just realized that I'm holding my phone and I have a selfie stick in my other hand. That's silly of me. One moment. There we go. Um, so yeah, you can see it's an intersection of two bike paths. Um, editing me might have to flip this footage, but um, one direction goes to... Hold on, let me actually look. So one of these goes to, that would be Soraide. That, that's where the um, grocery store that you saw Kreter and I at. And Osanger? I'm not sure where that's at. This goes to Fleisland and Lagunen. Uh, Fleisland is where the airport is, and Lagunen is where one of the malls are. little canal slash drainage ditch, and a bunch of abandoned parking areas, or four abandoned buildings where the only thing left is the foundation. I've never actually figured out what's with that. I went back really far in Google Street View, and they're still just like they are now. Maybe fewer trees and plant life, but yeah. Anyway, it's a relatively nice day. Um, you probably can't see it. The sun is... Probably just setting about now. It's what, 1920 maybe? Uh, 1942. So, a little after 7:40 p.m. And yeah, let me extend the selfie stick out a bit so it's not quite as close cut. And yeah, this is actually one of the really nice things about the general area that I live in. This is a bike path. Well, bicycle and pedestrian. Pedestrians on the left in this case. Bicycle two lanes on the right. Yeah, um, there's people walking and jogging along this path. Just moving out of the way. It's a relatively nice day. It's a bit on the windy side, but otherwise I think it's, what, 11 degrees outside right now? It's not too bad. Anyway, I am, yet and again, on a stupid walk for my stupid mental health. And physical health. Uh, my goal is to make sure that I am out walking slash exercising every day. Oh. Oh dear. Flesland. Airport. Also, Centrum is the center of Bergen. It's a really pretty area. So, um, walk back into regular pedestrian lane now that people have walked by. <sighs> so, the footage yesterday was uh, Kreditor leaving to go back to the cabin. Predator um, needs to visit every so often. You know, having cats and all that. I just got a message that I might need to turn around. One moment. Uh, yeah, actually, the ice cream van is going to be arriving in about 15 minutes to my place. I'm, or 15 to 30 minutes to my place. And I am definitely less than 15 minutes away from my place. So my stupid walk for my stupid mental health is going to 
be a little curtailed. I was hoping to be able to show you a really nifty area. Um, editor me, go ahead and put in some pictures of that area that I took back in summer. Or technically not summer, that would have been fall, autumn, whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's an area that has multiple bicycle highways going on top of each other. One of which is crossing, the other, or crossing with an overpass, the other one is going alongside the light rail. This is one of the biggest advantages that I have of living here, other than being with Cleotair, which is I have transit for the first time in my life. I am living in a place, and old enough to be cognizant of the fact that I'm living in a place with a high degree of public transit. Uh, technically, I lived in New York City for about a year and a half to two years of my life. I'm not counting that because I was six and seven, so, well, and also the area that I lived in specifically didn't really have much of anything but a bus, so. And I do mean a bus, I said there was one line going back and forth every 45 minutes, I want to say. So, still not that great in public transit. Your though? Ooh, this is a very big difference to me. Um, the government of Norway had invested a lot of money into the light rail, the B-bonnet that I've talked about before. For a bit it's billions of kroner, so I think it might actually be over a billion dollars. It's definitely hundreds of millions at least. <sighs> but, yeah. Um, hmm. So, I guess I want to talk about some of the pros and cons about living here. A little more directly. Now that I've lived here for huh, ten and a half months and lived in the old place for six months, new place for four ish. No wait, no, I've lived in the new place for five months. No. No, I was right, four and a half. Anyway, um Yeah. Let's talk for a bit. Hi again. Um, it's been a few hours since then. Uh, by a few, I mean five? Four? Uh, close to five. Um, so, technically it's the next day, but mm, close enough. So, obviously, there are a lot of advantages to living in Norway, but, um, that's not to say my life is particularly Good. If you've watched any of my videos about, like, life updates between, well, the last Vita and now, um, things have not been going so great in general. Uh, I had mentioned that I was at the boat dock to see Kreterov because they're traveling back and forth constantly between their house and here. Which, I still see Kreter way more often now than I ever did while living in the U.S., but... They're basically my only friend here. Um, I have a few friends for D&D at this point, which I only see them for D&D, but it's a lot better than nothing. This is a relatively recent development, so that part's nice. And now that I finally have my board games, which is what's behind me, um, I'm going to start trying to organize a board game night of some variety, just so I have more people over. So Creator is not the only person that has to bear all of my needs of having a friend nearby. Because that's rough. Um, that would be rough for me, even. And I'm used to that type of thing. So, it is ridiculously lonely here. I am still dealing with a large amount of... Uh, we'll go with xenophobia for the term. Um, it's not as bad as the previous place. Because I was dealing with both xenophobia and classism. Whereas now I just deal with a smaller, but still present amount of xenophobia. Um, I'm still given very funny looks whenever I speak. Regardless of whether it's in English or in Norwegian. Um, I'm given 
I mean, my Norwegian's still laughed at whenever I try to use it. Uh, I've only somewhat recently been able to hold conversations in Norwegian, even really minor ones like, would you like a bag and do you want a receipt? That type of thing. Um, I've only been able to do that recently without people immediately cracking up laughing or not knowing what in the world I was saying. So my Norwegian's coming along, but it's still not doing great. And I have not been practicing lately either. I need to get back onto that. Maybe I'll have a video where I'm practicing Norwegian. Um, there are a lot of other things that bother me about Norway. Um, it, but it is mostly the lack of having friends. Um, lack of things to do that's not just sitting on the couch, sitting in this chair, sitting in another chair, standing, going for a walk. That's pretty much all that I do every day. Heck, I haven't even played much in the way of video games in a while now. Um, outside of Tabletop Simulator and I have a weekly Baldur's Gate 3 game which has not been going on for multiple weeks in a row now because of me being on vacation, other people not being around, I basically stopped playing video games entirely, which is not good for my health. Because while, yeah, I shouldn't be sitting still for extended periods of time, I also need something stimulating to do instead of just staring at my computer, watching random YouTube videos of, I don't know, random VTuber reacting to cat videos or something like that. It's lonely here, and I'm not very good at handling loneliness. I had a lot of that growing up. Um, my family moved very frequently uh, until I turned, what was it, like 27, 28? I averaged moving once a year um, throughout my entire life, which meant that I was never, I, I had to constantly make new friends. And each time that I did it, I had a sharp reduction in the number of people I considered friends. Because why bother going through all the effort of making a few dozen friends when I'm just going to lose them again in a year? And that kept happening. Um, the last place I lived in, the one in Madison, I didn't know the names of any of my neighbors the entire time I've lived there. Because it just wasn't worth the effort of going out and saying hi to people because I had just been beaten down so often. Now, I know that I've been introduced to my neighbors here and I don't remember their names at all. Uh, we wave hi. To be fair, that's actually more contact than I had with my previous neighbors, but that's about it. It's something that I've been struggling with, and I've been yelled at by people both in Norway and outside of Norway for this. And on YouTube. Lots and lots of people yelling at me about things on YouTube. I'm trying to paint a realistic portrait of what's been going on here in Norway. And I keep slipping down because this um, tripod is up a little bit too high. Um, I'm trying to paint a realistic picture as to what's going on. I'm not trying to say Norway is the worst place ever and nobody should ever move here from the U.S. No, that's dumb. I'm also not saying the U.S. is the worst place ever and nobody should ever live in the U.S. No, that's also dumb. There's lots of reasons to live in both places. There's lots of good things and bad things about both places. In my case, there are a lot of really good things about this place. And as much as my family is trying to insist that I move back, I'm probably not going to. And depending on what happens in November in the U.S., I might not ever return to the U.S. That is a distinct possibility. It won't be safe for people like me or my partner. So I have to look at this realistically as, I'm going to be living here. How can I make the best of it? And part of that is a realistic comparison of what do I like here? What don't I like here? And then the next steps of what can I do to make what I not like into things that I like? For instance, board gaming. Um, trying to organize board game nights and so on on a more regular basis. 
I need to find more friends. Creator needs to find some friends here, for that matter. But in general, we need more than just each other, because otherwise we're going to drive each other up the wall. And whenever we need to be apart for any reason, it's going to hurt. It would be a lot better if we had better ways of handling this. I do not wish to be entirely dependent on Creator, and they do not wish to be entirely dependent on me. That's normal. Um, xenophobia is a lot harder for me to tackle, but what I can do is surround myself with people that will defend me, that will speak up when crap like that happens, where I have somebody comparing me to vermin and basically start quoting Adolf Hitler at me, but in Norwegian. Um, and yes, that has actually happened. Uh, or people going off the deep end and assuming that I'm taking their jobs and stuff like that. You know, the traditional xenophobia stuff that happens every country in the world. I'm not at all saying that Norway is unique in this regard. It's just that the Scandinavian countries tend to have more xenophobia than a lot of other European countries even. Never mind outside of Europe. It is what it is. Anyway, it's late. I need to go to bed. Have a nice night, Internet. I hope you've had a good kitten. Bye! Oh yeah, one last thing before I go to bed. Um, are these, like, double vlogs working out for other people? I mean, I like the fact that I only have to edit once, but sometimes there's two different subject matters involved with these vlogs because I don't necessarily know what's going to happen from day to day. Is this something that people are okay with? Is this... Would people prefer that I just cut them in half when I'm doing the editing. It's not that much extra work. Um, would people prefer timestamps for each day? Just let me know in the comments. See ya.